with this third episode when Danny meets Wanda. Now, uh, it was written in the scene as when they met the way it was like that, but I had to make some adjustments. A lot of the stuff was filmed at nighttime. So that, uh, I can't remember him getting, him getting uh, Fabian getting hit in the head from uh, Yanel was in there. Uh, I'm thinking it wasn't. Maybe it was. But I know Yanel had reservations about hitting Fabian. And I told her, look, you need to, you need to hit him hard. And that's just the way the character, I mean, to, it's got to be portrayed where he's coming right behind you. And now at this point, you think he's a stalker. Or he's actually, you know, going to his room. Yeah, they hadn't met at that point. So I don't know how many times we had a, we had to shoot that scene. I want to say we had to shoot it about four different times. Now, the, the lighting was a challenge, obviously. Um, I, I asked Yanel, you need to hit him harder. And Fabian says, you need to hit me harder. You need to hit me harder. And, um, but I, I think probably that slap could have gotten a little bit harder. That kick <laughs> when he was down could have been a little bit more harder also. So uh, I did what I could with that. Uh, simply because we also, right there, as, as where they're getting hit, where she's hitting them. We filmed this in like an apartment complex. Well, there's tenants next, right there, right across where she's hitting them. And every now and then they'd open up the door because they hear what they were hear a commotion. And I'm like, cut. <laughs> and I said, uh, sorry, but we're filming here. We're, nothing's happening. We're just filming a, 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 you know, a film. And uh, they were polite enough. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I said, sorry. okay, let's do it again. <laughs> So, and this was, you know, in the middle of the night, but it'd be like, you know, 8, 8.30, 9, you know, we'd be out there filming. Now, um, the scene where she's out there putting some eye drops on his face after that scene where he gets kicked. Um, again, I told him, you need to slap him hard. You need to slap him hard. Um, could have been a little bit harder, I think. I mean, to me, I could see it's like she, she, she kept holding back. I don't know how many times we did that, but I think one good heart slap would have taken uh, less pain from the six takes we had done with a little, you know, that hit him hard. He, you know, he ain't gonna feel nothing anyway, so I did what I was over. Uh, let me see, moving on. Ooh, the shower scene. The shower scene, the shower scene. I had to cut that down quite a bit. Uh, originally, I had uh, I had this in a 30-minute episode, and uh, and it was critiqued, so I, I cut it down. And this was from the original investor. Uh, so the thing is, uh, the I know Fabian writes a lot of the nudity in there, and, and we were when we first. Additioned uh, Yanel, it was it was over the phone. Wait, actually, first time I, I met me and Fabian met Yanel was earlier in that year for another another film we were, we were planning to shoot. Now this was with a different director. This is where I barely met Fabian. And that's an entirely different story. I mean, I can make a story out of that. Believe it or not, I wish he would because I told Fabian make a story out of uh, out of how we met. You know, because this is interesting. This shit. Doesn't happen all the time. So, anyways, going back, uh, we had met Yanel, and uh, Fabian has a has a way with talent communication. He's just like you know, he's he's a uh, yeah, Fabian is very uh, I guess he was, I want to say maybe bubbly. I don't want I want to say bubbly. He's he's got a sense of humor that is different. I like my sense of humor. It's like okay, where's the punchline? You know, that's, that's my sense of humor. It's like, I've been told I don't have a sense of humor. It's shit, I, I got a hell of a sense of humor. You just gotta be funny. You're not funny. That's my sense of humor. My dad will laugh at anything and he gets along with people. So, anyways, as we audition people, uh, he gets the, he gets the normal a little bit better. Most of the time when he's auditioning, I'm doing the filming. So, uh, going back when we met Yanel, which was, I'm gonna say, maybe a year earlier. Uh, she had that part that I think she was auditioning for had a nude scene in it. Uh, it wasn't with my film, it was somebody else's. So she had conveyed a, uh, 
my dad that if um, she would do new seats. So obviously we kind of like, okay, who's contracted and then yada, yada, yada. So, said, well. so we reached out to her and she actually was, uh, lives in Puerto Rico. At the time she was living in Puerto Rico. So uh, we talked to her, Fabian talked to her and uh, sent her the script, told her what it's about. And uh, she said she would do it. Um, so we actually, I won't say too much about, you know, uh, I guess this particular scene, but we actually made accommodations for her, me and Fabian. We, uh, you know, that's the least we can do. I mean, we actually can't pay any of the actors. They, they get, they love their acting skills and they, you know, they go audition. And once they audition with us, me and Fabian, it's not so much that we want them audition again. It's like, okay, we know who we want. We kind of like pick and choose at that time. Once we, once we work with people, we, we kind of pick and choose the characters for the next story. So, uh, did I think she was going to do it? No. I didn't think she was going to do it. Even though she said she would. I think uh, it's all word of mouth, but I don't know her. At the time, I didn't know her. Um, she did that. She did. Fabian wrote Wanda as, as uh, seemingly uh, saint. You know, <laughs> the, the daughter who's a saint. You know, it's, that's why, how Hernando puts it. You know, Hernando's character. Oh, she's a saint. My daughter's a saint. Well, on the contrary, I mean, she's supposed to go to college. Uh, she's supposed to be a good girl, studying, you know, working. But in, in this film, she's actually the opposite. I mean, she works at a strip club. Uh, she she likes having fun with men. Uh, she's an escort. You know, uh, never in the in, in Spider's Web do we follow her to college. So. You know, give or take, if you want to think that she's in college, her dad, her parents think that she's in college. So, uh, she's making ends meet by doing her own thing, you know, still living at the house. So, but uh, she actually did very well though. during the scene. Uh, she seemed comfortable. I don't know what she was drinking. She might have been drinking some wine. <laughs> so maybe she got a little bit comfortable there, like that way. But um, we got through the shower scene. That last part, though, it was written in there by Romeo and Juliet, where he walks into the, where she walks into the room. Um, now that piece where where uh, where he drops his computer because Wanda, the man, throws a water bottle at him. Uh, that was not in there. Uh, we actually had to shoot this when she walked into the room. We had to shoot it two different nights. First time she wasn't. She hadn't taken a shower. We just filmed it because we had both there, and, and uh, we weren't prepared to shoot this one. But coming to realize, you know, she she just got out of the shower. She needs to get her hair wet, you know, and put that that robe on. So we had to shoot it again. Now this particular time, uh, I told uh, Yanel, "What I want you to do is, you know, I put her outside. You know, we shot it. We shot it. She just kind of jumped into the bed there, um, mostly naked." <laughs> But I told her, you know what? He's got the computer. We need to get him to drop that computer. What the shit was that? There's always something going on. Pinches, lizards. And lizards all over the place. Anyways, so we need to get him to drop that more naturally. You know, because instead of him, it, 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 was, it was supposed to just slide off. It was like, ah, uh, slide off. So you know, I need him to react. So I gave her a water bottle. And we're outside in the, in, in the kitchen. And I said, okay, this is what I want you to do. He's not going to expect it. So we go in there and okay, action. And she now she's got the water bottle, yada yada. And they're doing their lines. And I don't know how many times we gotta shoot this, but that toward the very end, uh, she does throw the water bottle at, at Fabian and he actually, you know, he reacts and that's crazy. Like, oh you know, he reaches for it and drops the damn thing. That's how I was getting to to uh, to get that to end that way. It's just like um, I, I kinda like that and then I had Fabian I need you to look at the camera for a little bit, kind of like, what would you do, type of deal. Now, it's been mentioned to me and frowned onto me and said, I too should never look at the camera. You know what? There's a lot of films out there where the actors look at the camera because that's what they've been told to do. Uh, Variety, you know, with uh, Ice Cube. Yeah, and uh, I can't remember the other guy's name. You know, that's, it's a comedy show, but 
they're always doing that. You know, they, there's a sense of connection with the audience. For me, it's like when somebody looks at the camera and I'm, I've got into the character, they're talking to you. That's the way I see it. They're talking to me like, what would you do? That's what I try to convey when, and if I've been had a shit of a time trying to look into the camera with an expression that I needed him to do. I don't know how many times we had to do it. We had to take him into the bathroom. I said, this is what I need you to do. Look at yourself and then you do this. And he would do it while he was looking at me. But when we go to the shooting, he wouldn't do it. It's like, I'm getting tired of doing it. Just look at the camera and, and open up your mouth. Like, you know, in, a, in that manner. But he, he, he would do something else. And I was like, that's not what I'm asking you to do. We struggled with that. We struggled. And he started complaining. I can't look at your camera and not. So you can't act, period. Just just pretend you're looking at the camera and acting stupid. <laughs> Anyways, I had a hell of a time for him to do that. I, mean, I had to take him to the bathroom. I don't know how long he practiced that. And he was still screwed up. So, Anyways, I think I got all of episode three on that. So... We'll talk about episode four when I decide to talk about episode four. Have a good one.